In this video, I will show you how to free disk space on PC or laptop. You can free more than 50 gigabytes for only 2 minutes. Before we proceed, we will check first my disk status. Notice that I only have 5 gigabytes free disk space on my C drive. Now, click on search. Type storage. Click on storage settings. Wait for it to scan the disk usage. You can see my C drive details. I have 94 GB used and 5 GB free space. Below are the different categories based on disk usage. You can see that the temporary files occupied most of my disk space. Next is the videos then apps and features. You can click show more to expand the categories. We will check starting from the top which is the temporary files. You can see that the downloads occupied 23 GB of my disk space. This is the downloads folder where all the downloads has been stored. You can open the folder to verify the files. Now, you can check the download if you no longer need these files. Take note that if you select the downloads then all of the files in that folder will be deleted. Next is the previous Windows installation. In my case, this was my previous operating system which is the Windows 10 since I upgraded to Windows 11. We can verify this folder by opening the system disk or the C drive. You can see the Windows.old. If you don't have any plans restoring back your old operating system then you can check this option to permanently delete the old operating system. Next is the recycle bin. Assuming that you want to empty the recycle bin then check the box. Next is the Windows upgrade log files. To check these files, open your system drive or the C drive. Go to Windows, select software distribution. Open the download folder. These are the files for Windows update that has been saved and saved to delete and the rest below are not so important and safe to delete as well. Before we delete this files we will check the C drive status. Now, scroll up, and go to the top of the page. Once ready, click on remove files. A window will pop up, it will tell you that the files and their data will be permanently deleted. It will also show a warning that it will include the downloads folder since we checked the option. Click continue to proceed. It will now start to remove the selected files. This will only take few seconds or a minute to complete the process. Keep your eye on the C drive to see the difference. Amazing! Notice that the C drive has been freed up for about 50 GB. This depends on the size of the files that will be deleted. Comment below if how much space have been freed up for you. Go back to storage categories. Notice the temporary files will be emptied. Next is the videos folder, you can directly click on it to view the files, click view videos. You can delete all the videos or unnecessary videos to free up more space. To delete all files, left click on one of the folder, Press Ctrl plus A to select all. Now, press Shift plus Delete to permanently delete the files. Click Yes to proceed. Notice the changes on C drive. You can go back to the storage categories, notice that we already freed up almost 70 GB of the disk space. Next is the system and reserved. We cannot delete this one since this is the operating system. Next is the apps and features. These are the applications currently installed on the computer. You can sort by size. Here you can see the application and the occupied disk space, if no longer needed, click on it, then you have the option to uninstall the application. You can also use the disk cleanup. Go to search type disk cleanup. Select the app. 
You can select the drive you want to clean up. You can choose different storage if you want. Now, click OK. You can check all the options but you can see the sizes are zero because we already deleted it on the storage settings. Click OK. You will be asked if you want to permanently delete the files. Click on delete files to proceed. It will now delete the selected files. Well. That's all for today's demonstration. Comment below if how much disk space has been freed up on your computer. You can check my other videos for more Windows 11 tutorials. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click on the notification bell for more upcoming videos, thank you and see you in the next video.